What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about A Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson. So this book is about the Brides of Dracula and is narrated by the first bride, Constantana. Now she thinks she's the first bride but as the story goes on she starts to wonder since Dracula has lived such a long life, has he had other families before this one? I absolutely loved that this story was from her point of view and the way that she's writing the story as if she's talking to Dracula, and also the fact that she never names him by name. She always just says you as she's talking through the story. And honestly, I became so invested in her character, like just seeing her from when she was first turned into a vampire all the way like throughout their life as he gathers more brides, as he gathers like more of a family and just seeing how her agency changes over the course of her very long immortal life. I was absolutely in love with her as a character. Definitely say this book is for the Castlevania girlies. Now, I myself um, did not finish Castlevania. However, it's definitely those vibes. It's the way Dracula is described, the opulence of their lifestyle, the way that all of the characters come together, it just is so Castlevania to me. So if you're a fan of that show, I definitely think you'll like this book. I also really love that all of the characters are um, definitely bi slash pansexual. Um, they are all in a polyamorous relationship and it was really exciting to see that explored throughout the course of the book. And along with that, you see like their loyalties shifting. Like, are we more loyal to Dracula because he you know, gave us this life or are we becoming more loyal with each other? I would highly recommend picking this book up. It's only about six hours, maybe a little bit under six hours if you listen to the audiobook, which I found really enjoyable. The narrator did a fantastic job. I definitely want to read more by S.T. Gibson and honestly it has put me kind of back in like a vampire witchy gothic mood and I'm honestly very here for that. So overall I am giving this book an A+. I absolutely adored it. I would love to actually own this book so I could read it again and again. I'm honestly really glad that I got it from Audible instead of the library so I can listen to it as much as I want and just once again highly recommend picking this book up. It is just so dark and sexy and the vampire tropes are to die for really recommend but anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it be sure that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to top books with me every week that's everything I got for you today and I will see you guys next time bye